Imagine your terminal could think like an AI. Sounds impossible, right? Well, Kali Linux 2025.3 just made it real with the all new Gemini to you CLI. Let me show you how hackers are using it right now because it supports generative AI models. This video is made for educational and ethical purposes only. I'm not responsible for any misuse of the information shown here. You need to download Kali Linux from a web browser. You should download it from Kali's official website. Kali.org, you'll find the ISO image file and the Kali Linux version for virtual machines. When you click on installer, the ISO file will start downloading. I haven't downloaded it. I'll use Kali Linux on a virtual machine so it can be set up quickly. Click on virtual machine, it shows many virtual machine files. We will download the VMware file, but you can also choose the virtual box file if you want. Clicking the download icon will start the download automatically. Once the download is complete, you can move it to any folder you like and extract it there. Once it's extracted, it will contain the Linux file for VMware. The extracted files of the updated Kali Linux version will create a folder. You need to go inside that folder. Here are the Kali Linux VMware file. There's a .vmx extension. Double-clicking it will automatically import it into VMware. From Edit Virtual Machine Settings, just increase the RAM. This will make it run smoothly. Clicking power on this virtual machine will start Kali Linux. By doing it this way, you can set up your virtual lab in the shortest possible time. The default username and password are both Kali Kali. Once it's open, to check the Linux version, type the command grep version slash etc slash OOS release. This command will show you which version of Linux is currently running. Before installing Gemini CLI, you should update your OS using this command, sudo apt update. This command updates the package list, meaning it checks the server to see if there are any new versions or updates available for the software installed on your system. Now to install Gemini CLI, type the following command, sudo apt install Gemini CLI. Type Gemini CLI dash H in Kali Linux. It will display the help menu or command usage guide where you can see all available options, flags, and command syntax. If you type the Gemini dash CLI command and press enter, it will prompt for Google account authentication. To log in with Google, simply press one on your keyboard. It will automatically open the Google account login page. From here, sign in with your Gmail account by entering your email and then your password. Once authentication succeeds, you'll see the Gemini CLI interface in the terminal. After that, you can ask it anything. Here you can see the message input section has appeared. Now you can type any message you want. I've given a prompt here. In the prompt I'm saying, scan http colon slash slash testphp.volnweb.com colon find open ports fingerprint the HTTP server, run Nikto for common vulnerabilities, check for SQL injection in XSS, generate a JSON report saved to slash TMP slash example underscore report dot JSON. And Gemini A, I will automatically run this scan. Here it will ask your permission to execute the Nmap command. Press one, two, or three on your keyboard as needed. The automatic scan will start. The scan will take a little time, from the terminal, it will run Nmap exactly the same way you would run an Nmap scan. After the scan finishes, you can see the Nmap scan results being displayed. Port TCP 53 service TCP you wrapped, and another port TCP 80 service HTTP version NGNX 1.19.0. For the Nikto scan, it will ask for execute permission. Press one of the options on the keyboard to allow it. It will scan like from the terminal but you don't need to write custom commands for this. Gemini AI itself issues the commands and runs the scan automatically. If there's any error or something missing, Gemini AI will automatically fix it. It will scan the website completely, find open ports, identify the web server type, use Nikto to find common vulnerabilities, and check for SQL injection, SQLI, and cross-site scripting, XSS. Gemini CLI is a CLI-based AI assistant installed on Kali. You can ask it questions from the terminal, have it generate code, create scripts, and save outputs as files. 
What Gemini CLI can do capabilities interactive terminal AI chat with an AI directly from your shell. Ask questions, get explanations, or request code and scripts. Code and script generation quickly produce snippets, automation scripts, parsing helpers, or templates, shell, Python, etc. You can adapt. Orchestration and automation coordinate multiple tools by generating the sequence of steps or commands necessary to perform a task and optionally run them if permitted. Tool integration, it can invoke installed CLI tools, like scanners, or parse their output to produce summaries and actionable text output. Depends on local permissions. Natural language to tasks convert plain English prompts into sequences of technical actions or reports, scan, and summarize web server produce a plan and report. File output and reporting save results in structured formats. JSON, text, markdown for later review or reporting. Troubleshooting and fixes suggest fixes for errors, missing dependencies, or misconfigured tools, and sometimes generate the commands to correct them. Context awareness, keep context across a terminal session. So follow-ups are coherent, ask a follow-up about the previous scan, etc. Learning and documentation generate explanations, cheat sheets, or step-by-step -step conceptual guides, non-actionable descriptions, how hackers or pen testers commonly use it high level, faster reconnaissance planning, turning reconnaissance goals into checklists and prioritized tasks, and getting summaries of findings. Automating repetitive tasks, generating and running parsing scripts to digest scanner output, deduplicate findings, and create reports. Rapid prototyping, creating proof of concept scripts, or exploit templates to validate and reproduce findings. Report generation, converting raw scan outputs into structured, human-readable reports with remediation suggestions. Knowledge augmentation, using the AI to explain unfamiliar tool flags, protocols, or help interpret ambiguous output. Workflow glue bridging gaps between tools, parse and map output, identify web targets, run a web scanner, reducing manual copy-paste. Training in labs instructors and learners use it to generate lab guides, quizzes, or simulated scenarios for practice in controlled environments. Defensive uses blue team, sysadmins incident triage summarize suspicious logs or scanner output and suggest investigation steps. Patch planning, aggregate vulnerability info, and produce prioritized remediation plans. Automation of hardening checks produce checklists and scripts to verify secure configuration. Documentation and onboarding generate onboarding guides, runbooks, and SOPS for security teams. Limitations and risks. Not a replacement for expertise. It can suggest actions, but human verification is essential. False positives, AI summaries, or generated commands may be incorrect. Always validate. Permission and legal risk automating scans or actions against systems without explicit authorization is illegal and unethical. Over-automation danger automatically running generated commands can cause unintended outages or data loss if not reviewed. Safety and ethics, important. Always get explicit written permission before testing or scanning any system you don't own. Use Gemini CLI in controlled lab environments or on authorized targets only. Prefer defensive and educational workflows, triage, reporting, and secure configuration assistance. We will use this for our ethical hacking with AI course. There we'll show how AI can help us perform advanced level tasks so our work becomes easier. We need to apply AI to ethical hacking to keep up with the times. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.